All right, so here's the system after a full week dead shorted uh, to try and neutralize any chemical energy that was in there. Uh, it's about 10x lower than before, but it's not zero. Um, and everything's dry here now, so it will have equilibrated with the external environment. So now if we switch that around, one, negative point oh one eight millivolt. Negative point oh one seven. So the bias on the Keith Lee is about ten x lower than the voltage bias on this. And so now if we short this together, it still comes back. So there's some real power there. Not much. Probably like picowatts at this point. It's all about how you scale it up. Let's see if it goes all the way back to, to 0 0.017, 0 Just about. And let's short that again. Builds up again. Same direction every time. So that's a good sign. Some of our earlier tests back when we were trying other chemistries and we had it exposed to light the voltage would fly all every which way but this is very consistent Let's see if it gets back up to 0.17 yeah it does so the next thing to try we'll leave it shorted again for another day or two just to really drive out any chemical energy yep negative 1.8 1.7 when we switch the leads positive yeah so it's there, it's there one more time for good measure So just to uh, untangle these wires in case there's anything to do with that. The mat's silicone, so we're going to test for anti-static stuff next time. Still building up. Repeatable voltage like before considering the direction of the leads. It's very cool. Maybe it's even going up higher? Yeah, that's de we're definitely going to have to look for anti-static because of this mat here. Maybe we'll paint it with, uh, what's that stuff? Uh, P.PSS, uh, that has sulfur in it. Maybe uh, that'll react with the silver. Maybe we'll get it sputtered with ITO. So let me see if I, if I rub this surface. It seems to go up more, maybe. 
hard to say. Definitely something, because it's higher now than before, so there's some other variable that we're missing still. But we'll track it down. Anyway, that'll build up. Let's see how high, high that goes. And then, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll try keeping it shorted for a while each time, and then um, we'll experiment with anti-static on the surface. Um, maybe there's some anti-static foam that's non-reactive enough that we can use that and ground it. And uh, then we will just leave it non-shorted and see if it goes way up back to like 0.1 instead of 0.01. But yeah, now it's definitely going a little higher. So that's weird. We'll have to figure that out. I'm sure it's the silicone mat has like static or something. But that might be useful too. If there's some biased electrostatic field, maybe that will help drive the thermal effect in this. So that's something to think about. Just a steady state electrostatic field underneath the device might help capture the thermal energy into electrical. Anyway, there you go.